Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing the season finale of season 7 of Arrow called You Have Saved This City. So we start off with SCPD turns on the uh, Team Arrow, but they manage to escape. Then we have Laurel and Curtis are back. And then we go to a flash forward scene where they have a really cool fight scene. And where, um... Connor dressed as one of the um, androids and helps Mia out and then we cut to where um, they KO each other with the fight scenes. Well, Mia managed to KO a bunch of people. Anyway, then we cut to where Will and Renee are in trouble but then Zoe saved them. Then we cut to the present day where they got a location and then we cut to Bronze Tiger helps and then but the drones got deployed and took out some people and um but Curtis managed uh, said to Oliver to use a freezing arrow on them on the drones and that should disable them and it worked and then the media starts to twist it and then we cut to uh, Curtis is helping team arrow find the rest of them then we go to a flash forward scene where they form in a plan and they want to use Mia as a virus for Archer because her DNA is not in there because uh, Felicity wiped it clean. So they use that, they can play in a virus through the system and that should work. Then we go to the present day where there are 15 new targets at Palmer Tech, which used to be Queen Consolidated. Then we go to where the circle is getting really pissed at Emiko and she's like, uh, deal with it basically. <laughs> Then we have Team Mirror, uh, Palmer Tag, and then we go to a flash forward scene where the parents talk, and then Mia gets her dad's gear from Roy. Then we go to the present day where we have a really cool fight scene, and now the police are helping. So they finally got the straight answer about what really happened, and now they're back on their side. So they're going to help evacuate the building. That's Oliver versus Emika. Then we have a flash forward scene where the virus is in place, the archers rebooting, so they have to re-strategize. Then we go back to the present day with Oliver versus Emika and tries to reason with her. And as she was about to decide, the whole circle shows up. And then we go to a flash forward scene where Mia uh, can't take down the wall. And then we go to the present day where the Knights of the Circle attack uh, Emika and Oliver. And they got Emiko good, but she, they're still fighting back. They have a flash four scene where Mia managed to is going up into the building. So the building is, is all controlled by one thing. So if they get into one tower, they can disable all of it and bring down the wall. So anyway, she goes up there to do that. Then we have the present day where they have a fight scene. Which is super cool, and then we have uh, the flash forward scene where Mia's in the tower, and they armed, and have six, she has 60 seconds to get out. Then we have the present day where Emiko tells Oliver that um, to hide Felicity and the baby, and she went on a permanent vacation because I think something collapsed on her and that hurt her wound, and yeah. And so she, but she, I think she showed remorse though. And then we have a flash forward scene where they have a really cool fight scene, but Mia managed to do it and she managed to escape. And we have the present day where Oliver escaped. And the team is happy, and but everyone's starting to leave. Laurel's leaving, Curtis is going back to DC, then Roy is leaving because the deal with the two people that he offed. So he needs a ton for that. Then we have Oliver and Felicity are leaving. And we found out that his legacy is actually his team. And so they hug it out, and we have a flash forward scene where uh, the parents are passing the torch to the kids. And then we have the present day where the OG team are, of, you know, finally say goodbye and get shown their new home. And Diggle says goodbye to them. And then we have the all listening moment. Then we have the whole family moment. And then after Mia's born, the guy from the crossover shows up. To get Oliver, it says time to it's balance time basically in the whole crisis, and basically that he will be gone. And then we have a flash forward scene where Felicity is leaving, and we hug it out around Oliver's grave, which says he died in 2019. Throughout the present day, where Oliver says goodbye, and that was a crazy emotional scene, 
with Mia and Felicity. That was super emotional and super raw. I really, really enjoyed that scene. Then we have the flash forward scene where the guy takes Felicity to Oliver. And that was the end of the episode. So I gave this episode A+. I really, really enjoyed this episode. Yeah, a lot of raw emotional moments in this episode, which I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. The fight scenes were outstandingly good. Um, just the character developments were so great, and it was just overall a fantastic episode. And I feel like overall this season, I'll probably have to give a season. It was probably one of our strongest seasons in a while. So I'm going to give it a strong A. There was a couple of moments in this season I was like, okay, alrighty. But overall, I really, really enjoyed the season a lot. And I'm going to be so sad when the show ends next year. So sad. Oh, God. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree, tell me which, what are your thoughts about this season and or the episode. And if you also have any suggestions for any other shows, it'll probably be until 2025 until I can get to it. But we're going to try. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.